Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tech Warrior channel. Recently, the US Air Force has returned to testing fighter jets and launching the most powerful missiles, so Russia is very careful with this fighter jet. A detachment with a Yuma-based AV-8B Harrier squadron wrote another chapter of the aircraft's history when they launched, for the first time, an air-to-air -air missile operationally August 14. Approximately 40 Marines with Marine Attack Squadron 214 worked to have the Harriers launch three AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles during a live-fire exercise at Tyndall Air Force Base. During the live-fire exercise, mediated mainly through the U.S. Air Force's 83rd Fighter Weapons Squadron, the Harrier pilots aggressed remote-controlled F-4 Phantoms and BQM-167 Skeeters over the Gulf of Mexico. No machinery was harmed during the occasion. The controls would avoid the missiles before impact. The significance of the AM-120 first successful operational launch. This expands the capabilities of the Harrier while deployed with Marine Expeditionary Units at a time when the court is getting back to its amphibious beginnings. The main reason the AV-8B was able to gain this capability was to provide the escort role for the Marine Air Ground Task Force, said Osborne. The capability bridges the gap between the Harrier and the F-35 Lightning Illa Joint Strike Fighter. This enabled greater commonality between all two variants as the commonality goal was important at this design stage. The Joint Strike Fighter will have long-range armament too. However, with the Harrier's newly acquired weaponry, attack squadrons will be able to offer more versatility until the Joint Strike Fighter truly takes off. As the Joint Strike Fighter program moved into the system development and demonstration phase, the Harrier demonstrator design was modified to create the F-35 combat aircraft. The undiverted supersonic inlet was changed from a four-sided to a three-sided enclosure shape and moved 30 inches rearward. Fuller fuselage section, top surface raised one inch along centerline to accommodate weapons bay. It's another step forward, increasing the AV-8B's capability of long-range warfare. One pilot said, This is a step where we prove, and we know, through direct fire drills, we are able to maintain the fleet at farther distances than we have been able to before, especially aircraft carriers, which are what the enemy often targets. Thanks for watching. See you the next videos.